Namaste everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining in. This is MB. Today let's talk about Python dictionary comprehensions. So dictionary comprehension, you might have already seen list comprehension and set comprehension. Now, same thing, but we are doing with dictionaries. So let us look at some examples and probably that will clear us. Um, I'll clear these things for us. Let me go ahead and define some keys, yeah? Uh, let me create a dictionary which has keys in it. Or I'm gonna use the elements in that dictionary as keys. C, D, E, then values. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And then dictionary is KV for KV mm, KV in zip KEYS values. Okay. Very easy, right? So KV, or you can also be, uh, put AB instead of KV there. Or you can use XY, whatever, right? Uh, so kv for k comma v in zip k e y s and as you know zip, what does zip do well, we'll see that too so let me print out dictionary here i should have done that here itself here we go so what does zip do zip k e y s values zip and then if i convert that to a list, um, so basically it zips to lists or to iterables. That's what it does. Now let's take another example. X. Then I will do. I want to calculate the square of it. Four. X in range five. There we go. So this is um, another dictionary comprehension. Let's do another one. X dot upper. Yeah, X mm, star three for X in Wolverine. So this is a bit interesting, as you can see. W O L V E R I N E is here. As you know, dictionary is not like you know an order dictionary. I also heard that you know in a new update 3.7.x or prop for sure in future versions, dictionary will be sorry, dictionary will be an ordered uh, iterable. So X start upper. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, the key is going to be uh, the uppercase of something here, that is X, right? Uh, that is all these letters. And then value is going to be X star 3, that is the same letter multiplied into 3, but without any casing correction there. So X star upper is the key, and the value is X star 3 for X in Wolverine. So that is what I have. Then let us look at another one. Multiply the dictionary, right? Values with two. So you already have a dictionary and you want to modify that. How do you do that? Here we go. Mm. So first, let's print out the dictionary, what we already have. So this is the one that we have from here. So we will multiply it with two. How should we do that? Dictionary one, I mean, that is new dictionary. I'm going to, hmm, let me show you this, K, V, star two, right? Because I want to multiply uh, multiply the value there for k comma v 
in dictionary.items. Okay. Or that is also not needed. It'll just let me print that out. So as you can see, this is dictionary and I wanted to multiply two to the value or increase the values of each keys in this dictionary uh, to a multiplication of two. And that is exactly what happened. Mm. What if I want to do, let's say, create a dictionary where a key will be the items in range five and value will be the square of keys, yeah? So let me do that. Okay, so that's a problem. Solution is this, n is a key, all right? n star n, that is square, for n in range five. Here we go. Zero, zero, one, one, two, square is four, square three is nine, square four is 16. Now let us take another example, create a dictionary where key will be the items in range 11 and value will be the square of keys. But we are going to put an if condition there. So here, Square of keys only if key modulus two, that is uh, when you divide the key by two, the remainder should be zero. It will yield only even numbers then, right? So somebody asked you to create a dictionary of even numbers. So this is how we do it. Yeah. N colon N star N for Copy paste this here, change five to 11, add an if condition if n percentage two equals zero, yeah? Here we go, zero, zero, two, two, four, four, sixteen, six, thirty, six, eight, sixty, four, ten, hundred. Now, what if we want to get, let's say, let us get only uh, even numbers and uh, their squares. Okay, somebody asked you to do that. From this problem, you can go ahead and apply this. So let me add here. If condition dictionary. So what if we want to go further and say, let us get only those which are divisible by three and um, are odd. Hmm? Okay, so here we go. Same thing. And I'm gonna say, um, okay, first let's do this, right? Let me show you what. So one, one, three, nine, five, twenty-five, seven, forty-nine, nine, eighty-one. So that is what I have. Multiple if conditions. Multiple if conditions or if statements, whatever you wanna call them. There you go. Right. So that will be yep. Yeah, N star uh, N n star m for n in range 11 if n 2 minus 1 is 0 that is remainder is 0 if n 3 0 here we go 3 to 9 9 to 81 so this is one condition right so for this we already have this results so from this, again, we want to apply one more condition, one more statement. So if both of these are true, only then that will be included in this dictionary. What if I want to get now something which is divisible by three and two? So here we go. Let's do that too. Uh, shouldn't be problem okay same let me take this control a 
Control C, Control V. If um, I have this here, looks right. There we go. So these two uh, key value pair, right? Especially this value is divisible by both three and two. What if I want to include if else statement here? If else. Here we go. So a dictionary comprehension, which which will let us know the odd and even numbers. Mm, here we go. Okay. As in key, I will say even. if k modulus to zero okay i will say else odd yeah i want to perform this for k in range nine let's see what we get here we go so k i just have a KV, assume that okay, KV, first you go ahead and assume only this in your brain, right? So KV for K in uh, range nine, okay? But what is this V? Now, then you go ahead and replace this entire V with this particular condition, right? So even if uh, K is divisible by two, else, you put uh, else it is odd. So that is the value of V here. So that is how we do if else statement here. Now nested dictionary comprehension. There we go, I will say ND. another one here then I will say one right then I have two and the value will be another nested dictionary mm, three then I will have three as the key the value will be another nested dictionary five five okay so this is the nested dictionary right so let's say i want to do something with it okay so um, first let me go ahead and do what i want to do uh, i think i should first go ahead and type the formula here so yep it's a bit Tricky. I would, if at all you are new to dictionary, I will, I suggest you to go ahead and just skip from here onwards. So here are the notes. Mm, okay. Okay, so this is a formula that you have to remember. R, whichever you think is going to be easy for you to remember. If somebody asks you to R, you have to create a you know, nested dictionary comprehension or do nested, nested dictionary comprehension. So outer K, that is outer K or outer key, then the va inside this value you do inner K and then the inner K is equal to my function inner V then you say for inner k, inner v in outer v dot items. So this thing closes. Are then in for outer k, outer v in outer dictionary dot items, dict dot items. 
If that is a bit too much, then you just say OK, as in outer key, inside the OK, then IK, then my func IV as an inner V for IK, IV in OV, there's an outer V dot items. For OK, OV in OD, that is outer dictionary dot items, parenthesis close. Or you can remember like this OK, IK. Uh, my func and this thing my func with IV as value it discloses then for OK OV in OK dot items and the next uh, the last three line is for IK IV in OV dot items so the second line is going to be outer K outer V in OK dot I that is outer uh, key dot items and the next line is going to be you uh, instead of O you do I that is inner inner key inner value in outer value dot items. So here you did for OK dot items, here you did for OV dot items, right? So whichever is like, you know, a bit easy for you to remember, go ahead and do that. Yep. So let me show you what I meant. Okay, outer underscore K. Inner underscore K to star inner underscore V for inner underscore K inner underscore V in outer underscore V dot items need for outer underscore K outer underscore v in nd dot items all right here we go so what did i get one 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 two and then i got three 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 then three then five 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 so that is what i got and should have two i can put three then this one 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 interrupt printing out twice it will print out three times let me show that to you here in another way okay as an outer key ik equals to star iv yeah for ik iv in ov dot items then for ok ov in nd dot items here we go same thing yep now the other way is this okay i mean this looks a bit easier at least to me and looks cleaner to star iv and enter new line for okay ov in nd dot items and enter new line for ik iv in ov dot items all right awesome so i think that is all i had for dictionary comprehensions thank you for tuning in keep practicing have a great one